being molested um, at such a young age, when it was time for you to freely have sex, how hard was that? I don't, you know, I think I kind of just, I don't know, I would just say this, I was ashamed of myself. Like, I've never had sex with Snooze Dad with my shirt off. Like, we've never had an intimate moment. We just had sex and I had got a baby. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. About it is, when it came to, like, Snoop Dad, people don't really like to believe my story and my book's gonna tell it all, but I was kind of forced into that situation. I oh. Mean, because, okay, so we linked up just on some stuff one night, and in my mindset, I'm like, that's just it. Like, we had sex, okay, there's nothing after that, right? But he had a different plan, so he was so abusive, so it put fear in me. Imagine, I'm 14, I'm he like He was abusive times. the first, you know, to me, abusers don't ever start off the first night. They usually, like, woo you in, and once you, you fall in love, whatever, then they start doing all of that mentally. They, you ain't nothing, this, 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 and then they start to hit you and all of that. No, it was about a week. A and, week. And let me say this before y'all go any further. If she was molested from the time she was four until she was six or seven, just going into a relationship on the whole is something big for her to even have to try to understand and deal with. So that already was a cloud in order for her to even have to even try. You know what I mean? Right. Going into a relationship with mm -hmm. somebody after you already been mentally and physically abused and now you house to house trying to figure it out. It can't be easy mm -hmm. even to try to deal with a man, period. Right. Let alone an older abusive man. Yeah. So that's the, I think that's something to be talked about in itself. You know what I mean? So I get where you're coming from when you yeah. say you was in fear. Why not be in fear when you already done had to deal with situations coming up? Mm -hmm. When it came to sex, that was a fear. That's, that fear is automatic at that point. Right. right? Yep. So that's the whole game. I think that's something, to, uh, you know, a lot of people go through and don't even talk about. Mm-hmm. But you, being, you, you, a lot of them being molested um, at such a young age, when it was time for you to freely have sex, how hard was that? I don't, you know, I think I kind of just, I don't know. I would just say this: I was ashamed of myself. Like I've never had sex with Snooze Dad with my shirt off. Like we've never had an intimate moment. We just had sex, and I had got a baby. But it took a while, like after I think I got married or something, before I was even maybe comfortable in my own skin, you mm -hmm. know. And so molestation just carries so long. And honestly, I'm in, like I said, I'm in a healing season now. Even healing from that is just still triggering because certain hands look a certain way. And certain. so it's just a lot That's that comes true. with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you never got counseling from anyone because I heard you told, told E that you got counseling from God. You didn't seek counseling from anybody? Yeah, I've, I haven't had counseling before like that. Like, my grandma used to try to force it on us as, like, 11-year-olds, but I haven't been to counseling. Wow. God is our counselor anyway. Oh, he's so good. Mm -hmm. he so, so good. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.